In 2014 and 2019, the BJP scored big in Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. A large part of this success was attributed to some very clever caste-based social engineering by the party. Among different aspects of this engineering was the BJP's focus on non-Yadav OBCs in both the states. The idea in both the states was quite simple and similar. In both states, the Yadav community, despite being 10 to 15 percent of the state's total population, was organized under the leadership of political parties such as the Samajwadi Party in Uttar Pradesh and the RJD in Bihar. This, when added to the state's Muslim population, used to be sufficient pre-2014 to drive these parties to power in their respective states. However, the OBC umbrella is much bigger than the Yadav community itself in both these states. Unfortunately though, because these other groups were small and often disorganized, they did not have very organized political representation in the form of substantial political formations like the SP and the RJD for the Yadav community. Of course, there were some aberrations like the Apnadal in Uttar Pradesh represents the Kurmi community. The Mahandal also came up in Uttar Pradesh. It represents the Kushwaha community or the Koheri community. In fact, back in the day, even the Samajwadi party realized the importance of this outreach to non-Yadav OBCs and people like Mr. Beni Prasad Verma uh, used to play an important role. Mr. Beni Prasad Verma was a popular Kurmi face in Uttar Pradesh, used to be a part of the Samajwadi party, then joined the Congress and rejoined the Samajwadi party and unfortunately passed away a few years back. But in 2014, the caste-based arithmetic of these two states changed completely. In that year, the BJP was able to galvanize these non-Yadav OBC groups together and they moved towards the BJP big time which gave the BJP a big advantage. This happened through a combination of strategies. For example, the BJP painted the Yadavs as some kind of evil hegemons in the OBC community. At the same time, the BJP's push for Hindutva in a way gave these non-Yadav OBCs a common identity to coalesce around. The BJP in 2012 in Uttar Pradesh had just 20% support from these communities. That rose to 50 to 60% in 2014. By the time the 2019 Lok Sabha elections came, the BJP was able to get 70 to 80% of the vote from these non-Yadav OBC groups. That is massive in states like Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. And in fact, this strategy continues to be played by the BJP. What has, however, made this election very interesting in these two states is that parties like the SP, the RJD and the larger India Alliance has also started following this strategy. Let's look at the Samajwadi Party first, for example. Since 2023, Mr. Akhilesh Yadav has been trying to give non-Yadav OBCs and Dalits important positions in party organizations. In the 2024 elections, the Lok Sabha election, the Samajwadi Party has given a significant number of tickets to communities like the Kurmis, the Kushwahas, Mauryas, Shakyas and the Nishad. At the same time, the proportion of tickets given to the Yadavs has shrunk. And that again sends out a signal to these non other OBC groups. What Mr. Akhilesh Adav has also done recently is that he's appointed Mr. Sham Lal Pal as the party state president. Now, Mr. Pal comes from the Pal community, which is also another important non other OBC group. So as you can see, the Samajwadi party is catching up with the social engineering in Uttar Pradesh. Things are not very different in Bihar either. Here, the RJD is trying to emerge out of the MY tag, the Muslim Yadav tag. The BJP has alleged that the RJD is a party that only gets the votes or only works for the Muslims and the Yadavs. So Mr. Tejasvi Yadav and the think tank in the RJD have been trying hard to shed this image. In Bihar, in this election, candidate selection sends out some messages. For example, the India Alliance overall has given 7 out of 40 tickets to the Kushwaha community. That is huge because that's basically roughly 17 to 18 percent of the tickets given to a community which is not even 5% of the state's population. That's a strong signal being sent out by the Mahagad Bandhan in Bihar. At the same time, the India Alliance in Bihar now comprises the Vikashil Insan Party. That party represents the Mallaha community, which is another non other OBC group. Now, while this experiment is being carried out by the RJD and the SP, only results will show whether it's successful or not. But this is an important issue. And this was today's ballot ki baat. Before I leave, two things. The answer to yesterday's political test. Yesterday, I asked you which former chief minister in India is also known as Guruji. And the answer is Mr. Shibu Surain from Jharkhand. And now, today's political test. And today's political test is which sitting chief minister in India was born in Bhivani district's Sivani, an area called Sivani. This is a sitting chief minister. Do send in your answers. I'll be back again with a new ballot ki baat and a new question. Until then, thank you very much and take care of yourself.